Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Victoria. Welcome. I make a lot of like fashion, lifestyle -y vlog type videos, I guess. If you're not subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button. It really would mean a lot to me. And don't forget to like this video. And also, if you're interested, I do post daily on my Instagram and TikTok. Lots of like fashion inspo, outfit inspo, and just general chit chat, you know? It's just a really nice community over on Instagram of lovely, supportive girls. If you wanna be part of the little girl group, I'd love that, definitely follow. I also love chatting to you guys on Instagram DMs, so if you ever feel like leaving a little comment, letting me know what's going on in your life, or sending me a little message, I love talking to you guys, honestly. It just makes my week. I'm not gonna ramble on too much like I usually do, so let's just get into the video. As you can tell by the title, this is gonna be a Zara and Mango haul. Possibly my two favorite shops ever. I always find the most beautiful pieces from there, and bits that stay in my wardrobe, like, forever. They're such good quality, and I found some really gorgeous bits to show you. I'm gonna start with Mango. Everything I got from Mango is black and white. Like, literally everything I got is black and white. So, so let's start with this dress. I saw it. It kind of gives me Beetlejuice vibes, which I guess isn't the look that I normally go for. But I also love it. I just think this is such a cute dress and so easy to wear in lots of different ways. I'm personally picturing this with, like, knee-high boots, kind of, like, making it a bit of a vintage vibe because it does have shoulder pads which i also love because shoulder pads kind of give you that like hourglass shape um but i'm just kind of picturing this with like knee-high boots a black blazer over the top and wearing it like out for dinner i just think this could be such a lovely outfit i love the sleeves it's also got a really beautiful pearl button on the sleeve which i just think is such a gorgeous little detail and something that just adds a lot to the dress it kind of makes it look a little bit more expensive which i really appreciate um, this was £59.99, so I guess one of the more expensive pieces out of the haul, but honestly, anything and everything I buy from Mango is really good quality. I've never had something kind of like fall apart, or I've never got rid of something from Mango because the quality is worn down. I've got bits in my wardrobe that I've had for years from Mango, and they're still like in perfect condition. I think it's so cute. It buttons around. It's elasticated around the waist, so I feel like it's going to be really comfy, and I just love it. I just think it's a really beautiful dress, and I also think it's really timeless. It's one of those pieces that you can just keep in your wardrobe. Um, and wear it year after year because it's not really it's not a trend piece really It's just one of those classic pieces that can just stay in your wardrobe. I really like it I really do like it. I think it's such a lovely dress literally everything is black and white You're probably laughing at me right now, but I also got this black and white striped jumper. I really like this I decided to get this is this an extra large? Yeah, I got it in an extra large just because I've got this jumper in um, I think I got it in black blue i'm pretty sure um and i wear it in just like my regular size extra small or small i decided to get this in an extra large just so it would be a little bit more oversized and kind of have a bit more of like a slouchy vibe to it so i can tuck it into my jeans it'll just kind of drape down or i can wear it with leggings and it just kind of makes this jumper a little bit more casual i don't know i just really like the fact that it's a little bit more oversized a little bit more comfy a little bit more just chilled out and relaxed this was only 19.99 and i've got this jumper i think i've got like three of these now and lou also has two or three of them and we both wear them all the time just because they're just so comfy and they're a really perfect like fine knit they're not too thick so in the winter time you can put a vest underneath the extra layer of warmth and in the summertime you can still wear it in the uk because it doesn't really get that hot here let's be honest this top i wasn't 100 percent sure on but I really like the vibe of it and I thought, you know what, I think this can be cute. Um, I wanted to size up in this, but they only had it in an extra small. I wanted to size up so that it was a little bit more like relaxed and drapey and casual, but they didn't have it. So let's see how this works. This was £29.99. It feels like really nice, um, like a silky material. It feels really nice. But I just saw this and thought this could look really cute with just like a pair of black jeans and stilettos. And it could be one of those pieces that you have in your wardrobe that... If you're going for dinner and you don't really feel like wearing a dress, you can just pop this on with black jeans, stilettos, maybe a blazer, a nice bag, and you're going to look lovely, but without having to wear a dress and really put too much effort in. This would also look nice with, like, boots instead of stilettos. Um, I feel like it's just one of those pieces that are nice to have. I feel like a lot of the time if you're like, oh, I don't know what to wear, this could be one of those pieces that you're like, I'll pop that on. I really like the back. It's got a really gorgeous open back detail with just these little two tiny strings, so you do need, like, a sticky bra or no bra if that's your vibe but yeah i really like it i can't wait to try it on and figure out if i like it or not this jumper i wore yesterday and already managed to get makeup on it so you're gonna have to excuse that but i saw this and just saw i can't leave without you it is so comfy so cozy it is just so nice the material of this i can't even explain like obviously it is a knit it's a knit jumper 
but it feels like a sweater like a jersey sweater like it doesn't feel like this this is like wool and it doesn't have that like stretch to it this is like really stretchy it feels like a jersey jumper but it's not i don't know what the fabric is i have no idea i have no idea it looks like a knitted jumper it feels like wool but it's really stretchy like a jersey so it's really comfortable but i just saw it loved it i thought it was so cute i thought you could wear this so many different ways tucked into like a leather mini skirt that's actually how they're styling it on the website and i really like how that looks but i wore it yesterday with like leggings and biker boots just for a really casual outfit and i feel like it's one of those jumpers that you're gonna wear all the time it's just so comfy so wearable if you're running errands pop it on pop it on with a pair of jeans with some boots you've got a really cute look and i just love the look of like an oversized jumper i think it's so cute this is already oversized i tried on the small when i went to go and buy this and it was just too oversized it was too long it was too wide on me so i did just stick to my normal extra small so just keep that in mind because it is already oversized it's a big chunky long jumper it's really cute i really like it i got lots of compliments on it yesterday when i wore it so that is everything i got from mango literally everything is black and white i don't know why there's just a lot of black and white stuff in there and i really gravitated towards everything that was black and white i don't know don't know why now on to zara and i do actually have a little bit of color in here surprisingly so the first dress i was kind of umming and ahhing about i suppose because i don't wear khaki green i don't have anything in my wardrobe that is khaki green i don't know why i just don't it's just one of those colors that i don't tend to pick up is anyone else like this do you just have a color that you just don't really gravitate towards for me that's khaki green i never i never pick it up i don't know why i like bright greens but this color i'm always like mm, about it this was 55.99 which i think honestly is a little bit more expensive than most things i get from zara unless it's like a blazer or coat but it does feel like really lovely quality. It also gives me kind of like Karen Millen vibes. Is anyone else getting this? Karen Millen vibes? I don't know what it is. Um, I think perhaps it's the colour and the cut because it's got a very like sophisticated classy cut. I feel like you could very easily wear this to work. This could definitely be a work dress. And I love the beautiful buttons on here as well. They're just like beautiful like goldy brass um detailed buttons i think they're really beautiful it's got the belt buttons also go all the way around on the um on the belt loops as well which i just think is a really nice detail i love the kind of broidery anglaise for um is that how you say it broidery anglaise am i saying that wrong let me know um <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying that wrong but yeah this is just really cute i love the look of it i recently got some cream knee-high boots that i'll pop um on with this dress for the try on and i'll also link them in the description if you're interested along with this jumper because i always get questions about it but i just thought this was some cream knee high boots and with my coach bag could be a really cute outfit um yeah i just i thought it was cute i thought i'd try it i never really go for this color but i love the shape of it i thought it was really classy really pretty um definitely gave me karen millen vibes um and i'll just try it i'll see if i like it let me know in the comments if you like it or not um I don't know i think it's the color that puts me off like if this was white i'd be like yeah love it or black i'd be like yeah love it i think it is just the color that i'm a bit like hmm if you've been following me for a while this will be a shock um literally bright orange this is literally the color of an orange it's coming up a little bit neon like it's coming up a little bit like yellowy orange on camera it's not it's the color of an orange literally the exact color this was 49.99 it's a very thick kind of like boucle fabric i guess um i just thought it was really really lovely um i think it's got like it's already shaped which i think will hopefully make it a really flattering dress you see how it's you know it dips in at the waist goes over the hips i just thought it was lovely it kind of reminded me of that dress that um kendall jenner wore i forgot the name of the designer but I'll put it here it's like the orange dress i always think she looks so nice in that um and i just i really like that dress and i saw this one i thought hmm it's kind of reminding me of it not sure how to style this i need help with that actually how would you style this i'm thinking a pair of like white or creamy strappy sandals or black strappy sandals i'm not 100 percent sure how i would style this but or even black knee-high boots maybe that could look nice um but i just really liked it i thought i'd try it again like the khaki dress i'm not 100 percent sold i'm gonna need to try it on first to tell whether or not i like it i'm also very pale i need to fake tan so that's gonna go against me but i just thought it was cute i thought it was really cute hopefully it looks nice i don't usually wear color but i thought 
the summer's coming in it might as well try it this dress is obviously very simple it was 32.99 as far as price is going up actually because i feel like a dress like this would usually be like 20 25 pounds um my like total checkout price didn't seem a lot but now i'm thinking actually that seems a little bit more expensive than it usually would be one thing i don't say about this dress is it's sheer so i would probably say pop a slip on underneath it um just because you really can't see through the fabric i almost didn't get it because of that there was another dress that i loved but it was completely see-through kind of like this but actually a little bit worse and i just thought i don't know what the point of this dress is like is it a cover-up or what i don't get if there's like supposed to be a slip and it's fallen out i didn't get it or if maybe it's just supposed to be see-through, I don't know. But this, I really liked it. I just thought it was really simple. It's got a lovely little tie around the waist as well, which I just thought was a nice detail because it is a really simple dress. It's got a little bit of like ruffling on the shoulders, which is always cute, um, and a little frill at the bottom. But I just thought the little tie was like a nice, a nice detail just to add something to a plain black dress. And I feel like dresses like this, you can't have too many of them. They're just so easy to wear all year round really because i personally do still wear black in the summer and i just think this with like some nice little sandals or in the autumn time with tights and boots and then in the winter time with tights and knee-high boots and a coat they they're just so versatile so easy to wear um and i just thought it was one of those pieces that i'd get it see if i liked it because it will stay in my wardrobe for a very long time if i do lastly this is gorgeous i saw this on the website and i was like I'm running to Zara. The colour of this is so beautiful. It's just like the most beautiful, soft, vintage pink. That is the best way to describe it. It's a soft, rosy, dusky pink. It's beautiful. It's so lovely. This is the top. So it's obviously just like a little cami top. It's got frills around it. It's got frills down each side. I really appreciate the fact it's got black trims that you can put on with like black jeans or a skirt and black boots. I love the fact that it kind of lends itself to black accessories because personally, I've got so many pairs of black boots and I find them so easy to just chuck on with things. But if this didn't have the black piping, I think black boots would look quite funny with it, but I really like it. I got it in an extra small. This was 29.99, which I think is a good price. It feels like really nice quality. It's got a little gold ball on the back, just a little detail. Not sure what that's for, but it's cute. I just thought this on its own with a pair of black jeans and stilettos could be really cute but there is actually a matching skirt which I just thought was so cute. The only thing about this skirt is I don't know how I would style it if it wasn't with this top. Um, I'm thinking just like maybe like a black little black jumper, a little black top um, but I feel like I'm going to struggle a little bit with this skirt unless I put it with the top but I just thought the skirt was so cute. Oh my god, they only had this in a small, so I'm hoping it fits me. Um, but I just, look at it. It's so cute. It is so cute. The little ruffles, I just think it is the cutest little thing ever. This skirt is just absolutely adorable. I just, I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the little ruffles. Again, I love the black trim because you can wear it with knee-high boots, black knee-high boots, which I think in the springtime will really warm it up. This with the little top with some black knee-high boots, maybe chuck on a black blazer. It's just going to look so cute. I can't wait to try this on. I really hope it fits me. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> I mean, I can get it taken in if it doesn't, but I love it. I just really love this skirt. It's so beautiful, so feminine pretty and cuteness i love it it's just so pretty so that is everything i have to show you everything i got from zara mango i do honestly love everything i'm a little bit unsure about the orange dress and the khaki dress but i will know once i've tried it on i haven't tried anything on yet so i'm excited to do that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some new bits to wear in the spring summertime they're all so cute i always feel like i get bits that people will really like and people will wear over and over and over again. That's what I try and do. I try and pick the best bits that you guys will like and use. Not just wear it once and then never pick it up again. Um, that is what I try to do with my haul. So hopefully that comes across. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I just showed you will be linked in the description along with my sizing for reference. And anything I try on with the outfits, I will also link in the description as well for you guys. Along with this jump because I always get questions on it. So yeah, that is everything. Please don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video give it a little like leave a comment let me know what was your favorite item and what you think about the khaki dress and the orange dress because as of right now i'm like hmm about them i'm not sure um don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok for more fashion related content and if you want to see a bit more of my personality i'd say follow me on tiktok you get to see a bit of my personality vibes 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next Sunday with a new video. Bye. Bye.